<laughs> What's up, Cascade fans? Guess what? UPS just stopped by my house. And this black tube was delivered. It says Casking on it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What could be in a black tube? This is Casking. And. Open here. I don't know. I wonder. Could it be? Let's just open this. Let's find out. We'll get this guy open here. That popped off rather nicely. Let's see here. Could it be? Whoa! Whoa! It is. It's my latest casting rod. Well, looky there. We'll just throw that on the ground and freak my dog out. Yeah, oh, Eli. He doesn't like noises like that. It kind of freaks him out, but hey, you know. Look at that. That looks like the Cast King Resolute Rod. I'm going to sit this phone down here for a second. Looks like we got a Cast King Resolute Rod in the mail today. Could it be... I'm thinking it is. Judge by the looks of it. Gotta love that. When you're no longer have a job, but you're home to meet the UPS guy when things come, it kind of uh kind of makes for a good day. One, nobody can steal it from being left on your porch, and two. Well, you got a new toy that you get to play with. Yes, I got this Resolute Rod in a bait caster. And it's going to be paired up uh, eventually with my Crixus that I have to uh, take off of the pole it's on right now. Get that out of there. It's a beautiful looking rod. Very beautiful looking rod. I got it in a medium fast because I wanted it for a specific, uh, I'm going to be using it for, uh, yes, I'm going to be using it for doing uh, worms and stuff, my Texas rig. But there it is. That is the wonderful Cast King resolute rod that is an im7 blank too these are really nice rods they do have the winds kind of grips at the bottom and at the fighting handle and at the main grip there are the wind style grips very nice rods very nice rods this one is a fast action medium power uh the line weight is six to twelve pounds lure weight is uh I think three sixteenths. Yeah, three sixteenths to five eighths. Perfect for uh, jig worming that I'm going to be doing, like the Texas rig worming. That's what I'm going to be using it for mainly. But uh, yeah, nice sensitive little rod, gorgeous looking. I like the green in it. But yeah, it's a two piece, which I like because you can fit it in the cars easier you know if you're going in a car or something like that it's got really nice little micro style guides on it they're really small got quite a bit of them too so you're not going to get a lot of line vibration out of it and stuff like that should be a really good uh should be a really good rod for what i'm going to use it for but yeah i just had to do a little unveiling of that i don't do many unveilings uh so many people do them but you know this came today i'm here i got the video going so i figured i might as well do it yeah, it's a gorgeous rod. Gorgeous looking rod. And I don't have, I think I've got one rod that's an IM7. So I'm going to be very happy to have that. And if you look, that very first eyelet, that's got that cast flex on it to stop your vibration on the lines. Now, granted, you're not going to get as much vibration 
on a bait caster as you do the spinning, you're really going to notice a, a great deal of uh, that vibration going away down the guides further down as you're casting when you're using the spin, you know, your spinning reels. But to have that technology on the bait caster, I mean, bait casters are still going to do it. It's not going to be quite the the wobbly figure eight kind of thing. You're going to get more on a bait caster. You're going to get more, especially if you turn them sideways, like most of us do. We tend to turn them sideways to let the spool be up and down. You're going to get more of a, a wave that goes up and down like that. Not quite the vibrating one that you get on them. So it's still there. You're still going to get it. It's just not quite as dominant as it is on a spinning. But that guide helps get rid of that. That's what that design is for. That design helps get rid of that. Helps create that funnel that stops that wave. So it's a really, I mean, they cost as much as the, the Pro, the Speed Demon Pros. So they're a really good rod. And they, like I said, they're the IM7 blank with the cast flex they're just a really good rod and i do love these winds grips i mean they when you're wet i've got the pliers the cast king pliers that they use with the split for the split rings and cutting your braid and stuff like that and i'm telling you you get wet or fish slime on you they just they they got a real good grip they got a real good grip so i'm really looking forward to getting my crixus on this guy and getting it all ready to to do some fishing I won't be fishing today or probably tomorrow because, uh, as you know, me and my co-angler, Donnie, we were out uh, fishing the last couple of days and uh, had great weather. It was yesterday. I almost didn't even need a shirt or shirt. I almost didn't need a coat. I put a light one on because the wind was kind of blowing. But uh, today, there's actually snow on the roofs of houses and a little bit in the grass. We didn't get much. We were supposed to get up to an inch, but uh, I think we got just basically a light dusting. So the bottom's kind of dropped out on us. And uh, we're looking at maybe high 40s, low 50s in a couple days. So we're going to have this cold streak for a couple days. And then back into the 50s again, screws the fish up, but at least it's keeping the ice off the water. And our couple of lakes that we... Uh, that we uh, tournament fish at, they are now open to having boats on it again. So the duck season's over, duck and goose is over. So they've opened it back up to letting us fish it again with boats. Uh, there for, I, I believe it's October something, like October 15th or so, clear through, uh, I think it's Christmas time or the week before Christmas time. We are not allowed on the water with boats, and we're not even allowed to bank fish them waters until after 1 o'clock or 1.30, somewhere in there, 1, 1.30. So it's pretty scarce where we can fish. Uh, pretty much only have the river. So you see me going to the river a lot. So it is what it is. You know, bass fishing on the river with no boat, it's pretty difficult on the Illinois River, at least in the the Peoria area where we're at. So, yeah. So, hopefully, you'll see this thing out. The old Resolute rod that I got that just came in today. You'll see that out in a couple days. I will be... I've got uh, a couple... <laughs> I got a couple that I had some snapped off lures yesterday that I got to get ready. So, they will be getting fixed while and ready for a couple days from now while I get this guy ready too. I'm going to take my Crixus off of the rod it's on and get it on this guy. So she'll be 100% ready to go. And again, this is a Casking Resolute rod. It's an IM7 technology. It's a medium action or a fast action with a medium power because I'm going to use it for Texas rigging. It's a two piece and it does have that awesome awesome guide right there love that guide stops all that swirl from happening all that line vibration going up all your guides so you get better casting out of it anything that causes that line to wobble is gonna you know it's gonna slow it down it's gonna cause drag and you're not gonna get the casting distance out of it and that resolute rod eliminates that so yeah great looking rod feels great it's uh i think it's gonna do me great you know i think it's gonna be a great 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 little rod 
So I'm looking forward to it. A couple days, get this thing out there. Yeah, that microwave air is killer, man. I love it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, guys. But I wanted to do the unboxing since I don't, I just don't do unboxings. So many people do them, but hey, it came. I was here. I had the phone. <laughs> Might as well do it, you know. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. They got quite a few models out, too. Handful, one, two, three, four. Looks like four spinning models. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like nine casting models. So they run about the same price, like I said, as the Pro Series of the... Well, no. Yeah, I think it's the Pro Series. Maybe it ain't the Pro Series. Maybe it's the regular Bass Series of... Uh, it might be the Bass series of the Speed Demon, because I think the Pro Series are a little more expensive. But either way, you're getting what the Pro Series uh, Speed Demon rods have, and that's the wind-style grips and everything. So don't quote me on that. But this you are getting with the Resolute. And I like it. I am 7 technology in the, in the rod. So, yeah. I like it, guys. But I just want to show you guys that, and hopefully you'll see me fishing with it in a couple days if the weather holds out. So that's where we're at. So guys, keep a cast keen, keep those lines tight, and if you're going to do any ice fishing, be safe, guys. You know, no fish is worth being out there, you know, on sketchy ice. So just be safe, and we will talk to you guys soon. And I'll probably do some uh, pictures a little later of this guy with the the wonderful... Crixus on there. It'll look good. Can't wait to get her, get that nice seat. Having a reel on it. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys soon. Keep it real and keep it casking.